In a landmark achievement for modern air defense, the Australian Army successfully conducted a world-first live-fire trial in May 2025, launching an AIM-9 Sidewinder missile from a NASA-M's high-mobility launcher mounted on a Hawkey 4x4 armored vehicle. This groundbreaking event, executed at the Woomera Test Range in South Australia by the 16th Regiment Royal Australian Artillery, positions Australia as the only nation to fire the Sidewinder from a high-mobility launcher and one of just three countries to deploy it via NASAMS. The trial, which included a ripple fire exercise engaging a single target with both canister and high-mobility launchers, highlights Australia's innovative approach to countering diverse aerial threats. Images released by the Australian Ministry of Defence in late May 2025 confirm the system's operational readiness, marking a pivotal step in enhancing the Australian Defence Force's short-range air defence capabilities in the Indo-Pacific region. The Hawkey, manufactured by Thales Australia, is a seven-ton, lightweight, protected mobility vehicle designed for rapid deployment and high survivability. Engineered to withstand ballistic threats, improvised explosive devices and mines, it offers scalable armor and exceptional off-road mobility, making it air transportable by C-130 Hercules or CH-47 Chinook aircraft. The integration of the NASAM's HML onto the Hawkeye's rear transforms it into a formidable air defense platform, capable of carrying up to six AM-9 Sidewinder or AM-120 AMRAAM missiles. This versatility allows operators to select munitions based on mission requirements, ensuring rapid response times and operational flexibility. The launcher's 360-degree rotation and elevation capabilities enable precise targeting, while its mobility supports shoot-and-scoot tactics, minimizing exposure to counter-battery fire in high-threat environments. The AIM-9 Sidewinder, a combat-proven infrared-guided missile originally developed for air-to-air -air combat, has been adapted for ground-based launch through NASAMS, complementing the radar-guided AIM-120 AMRAAM. The AIM-9X variant, used in the trial, features a high-resolution imaging infrared seeker, thrust vectoring for superior agility, and a data link for mid-course updates, achieving a range of up to 35 kilometers. Its passive infrared homing excels against stealthy, low-radar cross-section targets, such as drones, cruise missiles, and aircraft, which may evade radar detection. This capability addresses a critical gap in Australia's air defense, countering the growing threat of advanced unmanned systems and cruise missiles in complex operational theaters. The Hawkeye-based NASAMS offers significant operational advantages. Its mobility enables rapid repositioning, critical for survivability in contested environments. As part of a distributed, networked air defense system, it integrates seamlessly with sensor and command and control nodes, enabling precise, multi-axis intercepts against manned aircraft, rotary wing platforms, cruise missiles, and unmanned aerial systems. The system incorporates Australian-specific innovations, including CEA Technologies CAT for tactical and CEAOPS for operational radars mounted on Hawkeye vehicles and Rheinmetall HX-77 trucks, respectively, and a Raytheon ANAS-52 multispectral targeting system for passive surveillance. The NASAM's open architecture ensures compatibility with future upgrades, such as the AMRA ER for extended range, making it a cornerstone of Australia's AIR-6500 Integrated Air and Missile Defence Project. This technological leap aligns with Australia's National Defence Strategy and Integrated Investment Program, which prioritise advanced missile defence to protect military infrastructure and personnel in a volatile Indo-Pacific security landscape. The LAN-19 Phase 7B program, led by Raytheon Australia, drives this effort, delivering a scalable solution that enhances the ADF's layered air defense architecture. The 16th Regiment, currently based at Woodside, South Australia, will relocate to the Edinburgh Defense Precinct by late 2025, consolidating operations at a modern facility optimized for training and deployment. 
the unit's 18-month training program, culminating in the May 2025 trial, followed the achievement of initial operational capability in July 2021, with full operational capability targeted for 2026. The integration of the AIM-9 Sidewinder into the Hockey NASAMS platform reflects Australia's strategic foresight in adapting legacy systems for modern challenges. The trial's success demonstrates the ADF's ability to innovate by leveraging proven technologies such as the Sidewinder's infrared precision alongside the AMRAM's radar-guided capabilities. This dual-missile approach enhances flexibility allowing operators to tailor responses to specific threats, from low observable drones to high-speed cruise missiles. The system's mobility and networked integration enable it to operate effectively in joint and coalition environments, strengthening Australia's interoperability with allies like the United States, which also employs NASAMS. The trial's imagery, released by the Ministry of Defense, showcases the hockey's compact yet robust design, highlighting its suitability for rapid deployment in diverse terrains. The successful ripple fire exercise underscores the system's ability to engage targets with multiple launchers, enhancing redundancy and effectiveness. This capability is critical in countering saturation attacks, where adversaries deploy multiple threats simultaneously. The Hawkeye NASAMS platform also benefits from Australia's investment in local industry, with Thales and CEA technologies contributing to a sovereign defence capability that reduces reliance on foreign supply chains. This development reinforces the ADF's commitment to building a flexible, future-ready air defence force. The integration of the AIM-9 Sidewinder into the Hawkeye NASAMS platform not only strengthens Australia's strategic position, but also sets a global benchmark for high-mobility air defense systems. As the ADF advances toward full operational capability under AR6500, this innovative solution ensures Australia remains at the forefront of air defense technology, ready to meet the challenges of a rapidly evolving security environment in the Indo-Pacific region. The successful trial marks a new era in Australia's defense capabilities, blending proven technology with cutting-edge platforms to deliver enhanced protection, operational tempo, and strategic deterrence.